Hey, my name is James, and my let's play is on Legend of Tale, a digital turn based card game. Legend of Tale is by far the best digital card game card game out there that is accessible by all players all over the world. I have been playing Legend of Tale for over a year now, and I've noticed several things. Okay, as I hop into a game right now. I'll be discussing one of my key points that is Untel is by far a true free to play digital card game compared to Hearthstone or, or Magic. This might be a bold statement, but I truly believe this game was designed for new player in mind um, that have Play, have not have or have not played card game before. Um, from the first scholarly support called free to play games professional perspective. In this research, it states that the academic researchers have also criticized free to play, and in recent recent research has shown that free to play design chooses cause probability problems and poor game experience from what from what I got out of this article that is that some of the developers care less about the player game player games experience and would rather focus on the part that the game uh, the game that makes them money in the game but in my experience of playing Legend of Terror, I have not f once felt the need to pay money in the game. Unlike Hearthstone, where you, you need to pay money for packs to obtain new newer cards to keep up in the meta, which is very frustrating. Hey, right. uh, one of my other key points are game modes. Luckily, in Legend of Terror, there are multiple game modes that player at any skill level can start uh, can start playing um, can start playing such as player versus player player versus AI expedition where the player can draft a deck as you go and overcome many opponents as you can and with evolving set of cards which can give you rewards at the end and in New recent game mode that has been added called Love and a Path of Champion, which is a new, new, unique way of playing the game where you can create crazy decks and have fun. And the next thing where mostly newer players will learn from the games are like challenges which create scenarios where the player can solve and well learning new mechanics within the game um, in as I go into a challenge as before I was really quickly going over the challenge um, my second scholar support called freedom and the value of playing of a game as of, of value of games. In this research, it states that they also regards uh, playing game inherently worthwhile. While wait, they also regard their playing of the game as inherently worthwhile because one player uh, at, plays a game for their own sake rather than a instrument for. Uh, for the ends. Um, this may be a far fetch, but I would say that the player can express how they want, wait, how they play, how what, um, express how they would like to play the game in certain ways among different types of game modes. For example, wait, quickly do this. For example, I really enjoyed the competitive nature in Legend of Terror versus against other players 
but on some days I would like to like relax and just play against AI in the lab game mode where I can just have fun and just play wacky non-standard decks and, and with all these cool game modes that ain't with um, all these game modes any player can just ch decide on whether what they want to play instead of just limiting to one game mode. Final key, uh, key points is all of the cards. Uh, Legend of Tell key selling point is that it attracts players into the game with amazing visualization such as the game board, the card paths, and emotes which you can just uh, emote to the other players. Uh, in a Brazilian thesis on character design, a new process and application and train card. It, uh, it says that character design and have have been important important part of human society since ancient time. The the event of myth and legends inspired socially throughout centuries with characters that in it to game. In this social report, it talks about how character design invokes something within human society. Uh, Society. This can project in 3D game how characters in games are the reason why players are so interested in some characters. Uh, I have encountered many players that solely fixate on certain characters in War and Tale. Personally, I like a character called Vigal, which you can see. Um, he's a Yolo. Is a Yolo that which is a magical creature. Uh, what insane because he was locked up in an isolated place where you where you only need a short slide to stay sane. Fire got gimmick is the longer the game goes goes, his darkness grows and does more damage. Um with champions there's a condition where you, when your darkness deals a certain amount of damage which you'll see as I play him, it'll create a darkness. Which is just like a vortex of darkness, which each round he goes take turn and just do more damage. And when he does, he will level up into this thing, and his all also changes. She's amazing. And this concludes my let's play. And thank you for watching.